You know, I used to think that the Sixth Commandment was probably the easiest one to keep. I mean, you shall not murder. That seemed very unlikely in my uh, personal experience, thank God. And, uh, and just it seemed like only the worst people did those kinds of things. But, uh, but nowadays you can click on a news feed and see a video of someone taking someone else's life um, right on your screen. And it's not play acted, it's not part of a movie, it is something that has actually happened. Um, when Jesus went to talk about not murdering, uh, he talked about anger, he talked about contempt, he talked about the kind of denigrating and humiliating language that, uh, that we use to demean other human beings. Um, and so I guess that's a starting place for us. If we are going to be a people among whom uh, murder is just not even a thought, uh, we need to deal with our anger. Go and be reconciled. Model reconciliation. Talk about uh, reconciliation and, and working things out in your marriages, in your friendships, um, and in the community, your neighborhoods, and so on. Um, and to watch the ways we talk about people because our words harden our hearts and our words harden the hearts of other people. Um, and where we know, where we know that there is perhaps a population, uh, right now it's kind of in our faces with, uh, with racial divisions and such, where we know that there's a population uh, that experiences more contempt and more kinds of denigration and so on, um, to be the people who go and build bridges, build relationships, listen with empathy, hear the stories of the experiences of others that might be quite different and maybe even unbelievable uh, to us. But, uh, but she, we were told in Scripture that we were part of God's ministry of reconciliation. And right now, there has never been a greater need for it. <laughs> Do not murder. Sounds easy. Let's start by reconciling. Let's start by uh, talking about people with honor, with dignity, um, and, and perhaps confronting the language that, uh, that denigrates uh, individual human beings or classes of human beings so that we build a society which was God's intent with these Ten Commandments build a society uh, that demonstrates the gracious character of our God to us